the nuclear warhead will detonate high above the Earth's surface. And people on the ground will not feel a thing. Powerful electromagnetic waves destroy electrical circuits. One of the most wired nations in the world will go dark. This plane is especially designed to survive an EMP. It may be one of the only means of communication you, as Commander-in-Chief, will have to your military forces. In a matter of months, our 21st century technology-driven world will be catapulted back to a non-electrified time. This is the worst case scenario, but one that could happen on your watch. With the fate of millions resting in your hands, will you be prepared for the aftermath? To make the right decisions, you need to know more about electromagnetic pulses, how they work, the damage they incur, what you should not be scared of, and what you should. To help you separate the physics from the fiction is a briefing led by physicist Richard Muller. An EMP bomb is a bomb that's designed to go above the atmosphere. And you're releasing suddenly all this huge energy. A few percent of that energy is in the form of gamma rays. Gamma rays are essentially X-rays that have much greater energy. You take an X-ray, which is maybe 10,000 volts of energy, and instead give it a million volts of energy, and we call it a gamma ray. These gamma rays then spread out. They'll hit to the horizon. When the gamma rays hit the atmosphere, they bump into nitrogen and oxygen molecules, knocking off electrons and creating electric current in space. Electrons moving through a wire, what we call an electric current. Electrons moving through space are an electric current in space. As this current moves through the Earth's magnetic field, it emits microwaves that strike the surface with an intense surge of power. That's what makes it so damaging, the fact that it's coming in in a very narrow pulse. In less than a billionth of a second, the electrical intensity on Earth's surface becomes so hot, microchips fry, power lines overload, and the electric grid collapses. Everything with microelectronics in it stops. Your car, your computer, the subway, there's no electricity. And if you think about it, if you don't have any electricity, you don't have anything in our infrastructure, do you? It would change the game. It would change the world order. Look around you and imagine what life would be like in a world without power. It's an electronic Armageddon. 